the 28th meeting of the United Nations Conference of Climate, COP28, is still ongoing in Dubai. And one eye-catching aspect of the summit is Nigeria's large delegation. According to the published list, Nigeria is ranked joint third behind the host country, United Arab Emirates and Brazil, with the delegation of 1,411 to COP28. This has caused uproar and elicited condemnation by citizens. <laughs> Jide, we're just getting a press release from the Minister of Information and um, Trust Nigerians. You said we like bad news about our country. That is, that is trending. And it so happened that the minister has taken time to even give a breakdown of federal government delegation yes, to we, COP28. Said the National Council on Climate Change, mm. 32 persons. Yep. Because the PDP demanded. Counted that. The PDP yeah, okay. demanded for. Um, a breakdown. Yes. Every, all, all the persons funded by the federal government are 422 persons. 422. Now, uh, out of this, National Council on Climate Change, 32. 32. Mm. Federal Ministry of Environment, 34. 34. All the ministries, 167. Seven. Presidency, 67. Seven. Office of the Vice, Vice President, President, 9. nine. The National Assembly, 40. Federal Power Statues and uh, agencies. agencies, 73. So that's totally mm, that totally 422. 422. The other people came on their own. Almost a thousand others. Hmm? Yes, about mm -hmm. uh, a thousand others came on their own. And one thing that's, uh, because even Kenya, Morocco, Tunisia, some of these African countries too, have been criticized. And they've come out to say, look, it's not everybody that you that, uh, Funded that, by that you the saw on the list yes. that even appeared there mm. somehow in Nigeria because they registered to be part of it. Mm. So even if you want to um, take part in it uh, online, online, you're already reg a registered participant. So the good number of some of those people did not even show up there they are in their countries. Because I've seen the defense that the Kenyans came up with that look. I think the Kenyans, they are about, uh, um, okay, Kenya, Kenya had 765. That's a country compared to Nigeria, a much smaller country. They have uh, 765 uh, uh, delegation. The delegation is 765 persons. Morocco, 823 persons. But what the Kenyans are saying is that, look, this conference is, uh, is of great concern to us, and there is no need to exaggerate the, uh, the number of people that the figures represented those who had registered for the event, not the actual attendees. So, and the Kenyans went on to say that government approved only 51 essential delegates while the remainder were sponsored by various groups. Various groups sponsored their people. For example, there are about 20 N journalists NGOs, from yeah. here. And the government is not the one uh, paying, for uh, the paying for the trips undertaken by those journalists. Uh, people like Boa, Abdul Samad, Adisya Karabiu, the owner of uh, Boa Industries, Boa Industries, is there. Not on government expense. What would they use uh, but you know, because they are involved in extractive business. Mm. And this conference is about extractive business and other uh, climate change related, uh, uh, issues. They are also part of it on their own. So look at the long list. Mm. When you are saying that uh, uh, Nigeria sent 1,411 to that place, out of this, only 422 were actually mm. sponsored by Nigeria. That's yes. Almost 1,000. Yes, just yeah. a little less than 1,000 yes. came on their own. You know the number of Nigerians in Dubai? You know, even there. in Dubai, that we want to. They want to be registered. Mm. You know, because once you, once you register for it, 
whether you want to take part in it uh, by being physically present, mm. or you are far away, but uh, you, you monitor things, you, you be well, via, uh, Zoom and all via Zoom and all that, you are, you've registered officially to be part of it, mm. you are still deemed to be part of the uh, delegation. That is how, and that's what the Kenyans have said. That, look, you are just uh, exaggerating this thing. Uganda, uh, even Tanzania, Ghana, they are accusing them of sending too many people. But in the real sense, it's not all of those people that are physically present. One, it's not all of them that are sponsored by government. You know? And I believe that if we do effective follow-up, we stand to benefit a lot. All right. GKB, the Minister of Information... Allegation, the allegation, yes, yeah. the Honorable Minister of Information and um, National Orientation has put this in perspective yeah. to say that the official yeah, number of people it. that actually sponsored by the federal government is 422. It's always nice to hear from the minister. <laughs> Two things. If people knew the importance of climate change to our planet, <clears throat> they would not be dealing with frivolities. Because don't forget that extractive industry is directly tied to loss of soil in most parts of the world. Because people are saying that we've overdug our house to a level that they are really not sure whether the conflict elements will work again. And the reason for this conference was that. So, but it seems that we have people who are only concentrating on the frivolities and the inanities. Because I think that to them that's more important, running down your country that looking at the opportunities this presents. When President Tinubu came in, one of the first things he did, if you remember, was talk about the role of the third world when it comes to uh, things that go into the air, carbon emission and all that, and why we should be giving room to get to a particular level before they were cut off. Because people were asking for clean energy, uh, had 200, 300 years of extractive dominance. Now that India, Nigeria, Brazil, <coughs> Argentina are coming up, they're now bringing new laws to coordinate their ability to compete. Those are the fundamentals of this particular conference. But in our normal manner, we look for things that are of no relevance. Because Amatan has dropped from when we were kids. There was a time frame Use for Amatan. November to March. Now it's about three, four days. Yeah. Now it's raining heavily. In November. December, December. Every December. And uh, people don't seem to be concerned. That there's something wrong. The ocean is rising at 1% every year. It rained in, uh, in uh, the northeast about three weeks ago. One of the towns of the north, when I went to Yola. The ocean is rising at 1% per okay, year. In 10 years, parts of the, our, our shoreline will disappear. The Sahara Desert is coming fast because the rain level in the, that area of the Sahel is dropping by 30% a year. We have real challenges as a country. And because of that, migration will continue to come downwards. And that will lead to more problems between settlers and indigenous and things that are of importance. But the only thing that some TV stations <coughs> are concerned about is those who went shopping for the kind of food they want to eat and the kind of place they can do. We should do better what is as the journalists. Your business is what somebody yeah. needs to eat. Let's concentrate on what What's we are getting business? out of this as a country. What are we extracting from the international community? I saw a story um, that suggests that the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, uh, Better Edu, has secured the, um, um, has, has got the Islamic Development Bank to Thank help you. Nigeria in addressing climate change uh, aggravated disasters. And you know what that means? Deforestation in the Northeast, yeah. for example, they can help us to, to, to address the problem. I know that and erosion in the East? Yes, erosion in the Southeast, a terrible problem mm. in the Southeast. Gullies. People, gullies. They, you see, some of these things are, they look intangible. Yeah. But if we follow through, the benefits will come. Whoever knew about Sukuk some years back, yeah. didn't know about Sukuk. If you go to the North Goa, where you see roads that have been built with funding from Sukuk. And, uh, by the way, the Gossip Banner is ready for the five know? minutes. So 
this, you know, sometimes we just come up with this uh, unnecessary uh, Yes. If you say America has 159, just, everyone knows that America has not committed itself to, to climate change, to climate change uh, uh, Reforms. response. Mm -hmm. They've not done everybody has been criticizing them. So, and if you want to be, uh, you want to blame Nigeria for certain things or compare Nigeria, it is foolhardy to compare Nigeria with China. Because we are not mates. Compare us with our mates. It's just like comparing um, uh, Anambra that Peter will be presided over to Lagos State in the area of revenue generation. They can't even stand near rivers. They can't stand near FCT. Oh, yeah. They can't stand near Kano. All of those states generate a lot more than Anambra State till today. So compare us with our mates, with our peers. Mm -hmm. not China. Even America, in, in many areas now, China is even uh, greater than America. So it's, it's, it makes no sense to be comparing us uh, with no. China. No, all because of uh, the matter of... Uh, okay. Yes, we want our country to be frugal, our leaders to be frugal. But as we have seen, mm. it is not all of those 1,400 people. Mm -hmm that government sponsored. People went on their own. And you can't stop people from going Don't on their own. Some uh, did not that's even go at that's all. That's all. That's Some did not even go at all. They mm. just featured because they registered for, mm. for the thing. So uh, it, it makes sense to correct all these lies that people go about making. GKB, I want to wish you the best of luck in your vacation, Godspeed. Yeah. And, um, for those of us that can't afford, uh, no, I can't afford. Uh, what can we afford? We can't afford to go to COP28. We can't afford to go on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. We well, have to go on vacation. Yeah. I've not seen my children in years. <laughs> Maybe you will end up in Dubai. <laughs> You'll be counted among the Nigerian From, from Indianapolis to Dubai, um, that's yeah, a stretch. Hopefully, you'll be sending you, you'll be giving a Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's 10 a.m. Okay. in Indiana. No, well, whenever you start, uh, generally stand up. Thank you. Thank you for always being there. Yeah. And that's our package today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast of this episode tonight at 11. You can also join us from 1.30 to 3.30 every Sunday for Journalist Standout on Sunday. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Mayo Uzuba. We'll see you tomorrow.